Hello everyone, I'm Nunix and today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to blur a moving object in Corel Video Studio. So I've got here a clip of when Portugal lifted the Euro 2016 trophy. Let's take a look. I want to blur Pepe's face, who is this guy right here. And this goes on for 20 seconds and as you can see it is shaky and he is moving so I will have to animate the blur so it just blurs him and not any other player or scenery. Okay, so these markers here dictate where Pepe appears in this shot and I have split my clip in these two. So now I wanna take it and I wanna copy it. And let me stretch it out to cover the whole scene. Now, I wanna go into effects, get the cropping effect and drag it into here. And now I'll double click this and you want to make sure that replace last filter is unchecked because we're going to be using it later and I'll just set it to this one and this is where we're going to customize it. First you want to set the fill color to something like bright green, a color that doesn't appear because we will be erasing it. Okay, so a width of 6% and a height of 10% seems to cover mostly his face. So I will go and copy and paste to all. Now, this is the hard part or the more tedious part I, would, I should say. We're going to have to animate uh, this little thing here to always match where Pepe's face is. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have put a lot of keyframes here. In fact, I've put 47. So if the camera is very shaky and the object that you're trying to blur is moving a lot, this is going to be definitely the most tedious part. It took me around five minutes. Okay, so now you want to go back into here and click on mask and chroma key. And by the way, as you can see, now um, only Pepe's face is showing. What we want to do is go into mask and chroma key, apply overlay options, and uh, here you want to click on this and click the same green that you selected. Okay, so now nothing really is showing. There's no difference. It's just as if the clip was there, which is good. Because now what you want to do is you want to go back into effects and you want to find the mosaic and you want to drag it into your second clip, the one that you copied. Now you want to customize the, f the filter and find a point where it's going to show as all blurry uh, the image. Don't worry, it's just going to show the part that you cropped out. So, get to a point. This is naturally going to be going from least mosaic to most mosaic. So you want to find kind of a point where you think it's a good blur. For example, there are other uh, types of blurs here in the effects like soft focus and there's also just a regular mosaic. I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, if you find that they do the job better, you can of course always use those. Okay, I'm now going to export the video so you see it uh, lag free. Okay, so now I got the video here, so let's just watch it and see the result. As you can see, Pepe's face is blurred. Sometimes you can see a bit of an outline around the mosaic, just kind of uh, a black outline. It shouldn't be much of a problem if the mosaic is very prevalent because you won't really be able to notice it that well. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.